Hey guys, this is Soren Productions, aka and on Full Six Sound Free, and I am back in Dragonism's Color My World Part Free, that would be. Um I am terribly sorry for the long wait. Um what happened is a rather stupid story I don't want to get into that much, but basically my mic stand broke and I haven't really been able to use my mic because the stand broke and it's such a stupid reason, I know. I've been trying to thinking up uh, well, I've also been incredible uh, kind of busy, so that's also one of the reasons, but um anyway, right now my mic is taped <laughs> to my lamp. <laughs> and it's such a stupid uh, setup and honestly, not, it's not taped, it's like elastic bands around it. It's so stupid. You don't even want to see how it looks, but uh hopefully the sound will be okay at least acceptable and I left you on I guess a bit of a cliffhanger this is whether or not we believe in fate as far as I remember and um, I had a very long I had a very hard time thinking of this uh, one because on one hand it's I do believe that things happen for a reason but on the other hand I don't Think, I think we can change your fate. I think even though fate exists, it's changeable. It's something to be changed. Um, so it's not easy, I'd say. It's not, it's not easy. Um, but I will say we believe in fate. Um, only because I think this is one of the really important choices. And um, by logic, I would think since I've s given... Since the game goes towards... Oh, God. I forgot to do the whole name, new name thing, I think. Actually, I think I remember... Hmm. Let me think for a second. Anyway, uh, I know the, the blonde haired guy is Chan, Chen Jiao. I can remember that much. And I'm pretty sure I remembered... Um, actually, yeah, never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna press believe, because this game is like centered around Chen Jiao. And I feel that would go a little against him, so if we're going for the Dragon Priest guy, that would be um, smart, I feel. Yes, I believe in fate. My life has already been decided since birth. I have forgotten all of the voices. Shame on me. Shame. Ding! My life has already been decided since birth. No matter how much I struggle, I'll never escape this fact. Oh yeah, I remember. He's called Xu Wei. That this is the the Chinese pronunciation of pronunciation pronounce pronounce pronunciation help of the video. His name this guy's name is Xu Wei. So I actually did it right. Believe it or not, it's Xu Wei. As far as I know, I've only researched this. The internet isn't always right. <laughs> so Xu Wei is his name. I see. May the dragon gods bless you. Thank you. I'll take my leave. I want to see what the other one says. I'm so curious. I don't believe. No, I don't believe in fate. How so? Perhaps I don't have the strength or willpower to change my life, but I'd rather think it's because of my weakness that I can't, not because everyone is incapable of doing so. I think it would be arrogant of me to undermine those who truly struggle to change their fate. I see. Okay, okay, I think this is the right one. Interesting. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Don't forget the words you have spoken today. Huh? We will meet again. Oh, he's evil. Of all fortune tellers, this pe that peculiar. He really looks familiar. You see, it's just a fortune teller, right? Am I overthinking this? Alright, great. Awesome. I'm happy this is, um... This is definitely the right one. Lord Shu! I thought you were away! I was summoned by one of the elders just now for the preparation of the upcoming Dragon Festival. How did it go? It was nothing interesting as usual, however I have discovered a fascinating thing because of it. I guess I owe him one now. A fascinating thing? Don't tell me it's... <laughs> I'm looking forward to what will come to pass. I will see you two tomorrow. Hey, Kao Yun. Yeah? I have a bad feeling about this. I think so too. Yeah, the dragon priest is terribly sinister. We hardly ever agree with each other, and when we actually do, it's a bad omen. It's getting dark. 
It's too late to go back to the inn. We'll hand the good luck charm to uh, Chao Yan tomorrow. I'd better go home now. Qian! Qian... Qian Zhao! I thought you went home with your aunt. Well, yeah, that's the original. that was the original plan. I thought that if I don't see you today, I might not be able to see you again for some time. Why? Oh, yeah. Okay, I forgot everything about the story. Wow. Good, good, good. Good going. Huh? Why all of a sudden? I think I fooled around too much this time. I have a feeling Gramps is gonna get really angry when I go back. He might forbid me to come here again. I see. Will I... Will I see you again? Of course! And this ain't the last time we'll see each other. I'll definitely come see you again. I'll never, I never break my promises, do I? Mm -hmm. No matter how many years have passed, you're still the same girl I met years ago. How can I ever bear to leave you alone? I heard the Dragon Festival is coming next week. Let's meet again then. It's a promise. Yep, it's a promise. Ten years ago, I met him during the Dragon Festival. I still remember that day as if it was yesterday. Perhaps my heart has already decided back then. I have yet given up pursuing the light that I colored my world. Damn. And that was the end of episode three. How many episodes are there? I think there's like six. Earning money allows you to do more things during the festival. Did we do that? I can't remember. I can't remember at all. I don't think we did. Fuck. <laughs> Shit, we d did we go to the farm? I can't remember. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. How much do you got? Um. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 24. That's not a lot. Shit. <laughs> it's so quiet. So many things happen lately. It's strange, going back to those days when nothing happens. If I think about it, it all began ever since I met him. The dragon who bargained for the prize over herbs. Or is it herbs? Oh. <laughs> I can't help but crack a smile when I recall that scene. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot about them. Jiu Hua. Jiu Hua. And Gao Kui Si. <laughs> I'm butchering this. It's because of these that I got to meet him again. I might as well make a herbal tea right now. Let's see. Soak the herbs, herbs by placing them into the water. Let them sit for 15 minutes, then cook them for around 30 minutes. Alright, that should do it. I'll take a sip. Ugh, no good. I can't tell the difference from the one I made before. It still tastes weird. Well, it's herbal tea. It's to be expected. They say the more bitter, the more effective it is. With this much bitterness, who knows, it might actually cure my eyesight. That's right. It has nothing to do with my cooking skill. Y you think so? <sighs> I wonder if I'll make a terrible wife. There's still one more week to go, huh? I'd better find something else to kill time. I can go help my mother, as always. Oh, right. I also need to give the good luck charm to Chao Yan. I guess I should do it for now. Okay... I feel like that kind of triggered something, anyway. Can I go to the pagoda? Yeah, okay, I thought so, I couldn't. Uh. I decide to go to the capital to visit Chao Yan. I wonder how she's doing. Chao Yan, how are you? Uh, what's wrong? No, it's nothing. I guess I'm just tired. I see. By the way, I forgot to hand you this yesterday. Thanks. I thought you got one just uh, like I thought you got one just like it a week ago. Is there any re reason to get another one so soon? I wasn't planning on telling you, but I guess there's no use in hiding it, huh? What happened? My dad's health is getting worse. That's why it's just been mom and I working at the inn lately. It's getting harder for us to handle the workload. I see. I'm scared of the future lately. Dad wants to see me married off as soon as possible. He's worried that he won't be able to live to see the day. Whenever he says something like that, I become really afraid. What if he doesn't get better? 
What will happen to mom and I? What kind of life will I have after marriage? What kind of man is going to be my husband? It frightens me whenever I think about it. When we were young, things like this felt so far away. Chaoyan. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I can tell that you try your hardest to squeeze a smile of hope in hope to assure me. At least you have Mingji. He's nice and hardworking, he's loyal, filial. And most importantly, he likes you. You're so fortunate, Tian. I'm envious of you. Is there anything I can help you with at the inn? Hmm. Here's another order for the Dragon Temple. Do you want to deliver it? Sure. Thanks, Tian. I kind of didn't like uh, Xiao Yan, um, only because of how she doesn't seem to like. I know that they're all like really bound by um, what's that? A tradition and like act the way they're supposed to, and she's just like the example of someone who who acts how it's. Expected of the and uh, of people in this age, and Tian is like an abnormal, an, ab an abnormality, anomality, anomaly. Oh my God, words have escaped me today. Anyway, I just, but I do feel bad for her. Like it, this just colors how how this kind of stuff is bad. <laughs> well, at least, kind of left. Yeah. Here I am once again. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? It's you, the bad omen. <laughs> hey, you, don't come here anymore. Huh? Come on, Kao Yun, say something too. He's right. This is for your own good. Don't come here again. Um, I came to deliver food from the capital. I had the lunch boxes for him. Oh, thank you. Now, before anything hap happens, please leave. Um, did I do something wrong? No, the one's wrong ain't you. It's Lord Shu, he's a dangerous man. Right, he's dangerous. If you're not careful, you'll get yourself into trouble. Right, it's trouble. You better avoid this place like the plague. Right, it's a plague. Hey, stop repeating whatever I say. You're like making fun of me. I am. Wait, you... Um, didn't you guys tell me how great Lord Shu was just a few days ago? Oh, absolutely. Lord Shu is the greatest. Indeed he is. And why is he dangerous now? How could Lord Shu be dangerous? He's a benevolent man. What? <laughs> huh? No, wait, he is dangerous, especially to you. I don't think this is working at all. I think we've managed to, all we managed to do is confuse her. Sounds about right. Why can't I ever have a normal conversation with these two? Um, I'll take my leave. Did we just fail? Yes. I'm tempted to say it's your fault, but I guess I'll make an exception this time. I have to admit, it's hard to say anything bad about Lord Shu. Indeed. Lord Chu would have been per the perfect leader, if only he's not such a womanizer. Well, can you blame him? It's stranger for lords not to have multiple wives. Oh boy. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Scandal scandalized T-Sip. <laughs> now that I'm done with that, we should help. Nope, she goes here. I decide to enter the temple to pray for Chao Yan's father's health. Hey, at least you have Mingji. He's nice and hardworking and whatever. Most importantly, he likes you. You're so fortunate, Chian. I'm envious of you. Chao Yan, I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Oh, this doesn't. This music does really sound kind of ominous. I don't know why. It's good to see you again, young lady. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much for the good luck charm you gave me yesterday. It's my pleasure. Besides, I had fun talking to you. This fortune teller. There's something about him that makes me uncomfortable. It's better not to stay here much longer. I saw you praying just now. Who did you pray for? It's for my friend's father. His health is deteriorating lately. I see. I'll take my leave. Why did you apologize? Huh? When you prayed, you said you were sorry. My apologies, I did not mean to overhear. You look like you were upset, that is why I... It's fine. I just realized what a terrible person I am. How so? The amulet you gave me yesterday. It was for my friend. She's currently in a difficult situation. 
It was her father whom I was praying for just now. She's envious of me because I had it easier. She's totally right, and yet I... I've never once thought that I'm fortunate. Such a terrible person, aren't I? Hmm. Everyone has their different fates. One's man's trash is another man's treasure. Both of you happen to value different things. It's unwise to compare it. Fate, huh? You still don't believe in it, do you? You're a fortune teller, so I guess it's not strange you believe in it. <laughs> Indeed. Fate is not something that controls you, it controls everyone. Everyone's lives are intertwined with each other, constantly affecting one another. Just like yin and yang, it's a constant struggle of two different forces, yet one cannot live without the other. That is precisely why it's difficult to change fate. The life that you need to change is not only yours, but also those around you. Difficult, huh? So even you think it's impossible? <laughs> As expected, you are really interesting. I need to leave now. Hold on. Can I take another look at your palms? Huh? It will not take much of your time, but... I have a feeling I will see something different today. Will you? He's not going to let me go so easily, is he? Alright. He's super sinister. I'm glad we went for this guy. That, this is becoming rather interesting. I knew he was sinister before, but he's getting worse. Alright. <laughs> Please, show me your palms. He moves forwards and grab my hands the instant I raise it towards him. A sens the sensation of a stranger's hand touching my own sends a shiver down my spine. It isn't warmth that I feel, it's fear. What are you- I immediately pull my hands back. My apologies, I didn't mean to. I'm leaving. Did I just scare her away? How adorable. This is bad. Why the, why the harder it is to get, the, har the more exorcist- they become. Oh god, he is- oh no! Alright. I think I chose a terrible match for chi -Yan. I am so sorry, sorry girl. <laughs> I did not think of your personality. This is not a good idea, but we're not going back now. <laughs> There's still time before the sun sets. Where should I go? We're probably gonna go work at the farm. Okay, okay. Farm working. I guess we can get some money for the, um... Festival now. I decide to go help my mother. Chian, you came in at the right time. It might be a little difficult for you, but we really need some help at the moment. What do I need to do? I feel like Chian's voice has just changed... Drastically. <laughs> Excuse me. Just follow the directions we give you and you should be fine. Excuse me. I understand. Okay, we're back at this. Are you guys ready? Alright. Alright, lawn one. Four big rice, four small rice. One, two, three, four. One, two. Shit, I fucked up. Three, four. There we go. Alright. Five big, five small. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Shit. Three, four. I can take my time in the beginning. Don't be too quick. Right, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job, Nana. Seven. One, two, fuck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was a very weird way to count. I'm gonna take a tea sip. So, so bad at minigames like this. Alright, eight big, eight small. I can't do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did it! Alright, can I do nine? I think the last time I, I could only do nine, so um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bitches. <coughs> Excuse me. Can we do ten? Oh no, we can't. 
One, two, three, four, Ten? I, 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 oh, I did it! I did all of them! Holy shit, I'm the best! <laughs> ah, claps for me, even though I miscounted the small ones, but shh, it's alright. Ah, oh, I'm so proud of myself! Also, kinda, kinda scared. I was really terrified. I hate mini games. I really do. Well, not, I don't hate them, but I always get really stressed because I really want to do it right. <laughs> alright, we can do the rest of our own. Don't come back before, uh, don't forget to go back home before the sun sets. Mm. But we can go to one more place? Where the fuck will we go? Uh. The capital? The forest? Home? Oh, we went home. No one's at home. What should I do now? Oh, um... Can we go to the forest? We shouldn't go to the forest. That would get us on that guy's path. So I think we should just... We should just read books. We should just read books. We're trying to get on a path. Sorry, had to check. If the mic still was going, read books. Safe. <laughs> Uh, dragon festival. The dragon festival is modeled after several ch tra traditional Chinese holidays, such as spring festival, lantern festival, and dragon boat festival. When people all of the all of over the kingdoms gather to celebrate this once in a decade festival, popular foods in in chlor in chloid in chloid. <laughs> wow. Include Tang Yan from the Lantern Festival and Boom. It's mainly watching the fireworks, which signifi signifies the start of spring. Oh god, I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Um, marriage custom? Chinese marriage customs usually typically follows the six etiquettes proposal, birth dates, pride price. Stop writing me, people. Who wrote me? Now I'm curious. No. Alright, um, arranging the wedding and the wedding ceremony. Before, before modern times, women were not allowed to choose the person they married. Instead, the family of the bride picked the prospective husband. Families were chosen based upon the needs of reproduction and honor. Which kind of sucks. I guess, like, I'm, I'm not one to bash on all arranged marriages, because some of them work. But not all of them. There's a lot of them that don't work. The Dragon's Arch, the bridge that connects the First Kingdoms and the Dragon's Realm. Like, I wanna, I wanna um, talk a little more about that because when I say that, it's not that like. Of course, deciding for someone is bad. Like, the parents should not decide who you marry, but. I feel, anyway, I feel like you should marry for love. You should marry for yourself. Um, of course, like, that is obviously how I feel, but, um, some arranged marriages have worked out, but I don't know. It's just, I won't judge every case, it's, but mostly it's it's not good. No. Nope. <laughs> this is where the Dragon Festival takes place every decade. Compared to the lively festival, the atmosphere during normal days is radically different. Quiet, lifeless, and oddly serene. I guess it's not strange, considering forbidden to cross over the bridge. No one comes to this place outside the festival. Chen Jiao. Chen Jiao lives right above the arch. They gaze into the thick mist that covers the mountain. One more week. It's just one more week. It'll fly by before I know it. But why does it feel like it's a lot slower than usual? Chen Jiao. Hurry up and come already, Dragon Festival. I feel like that was like... I don't want to like choose... Mm, this annoys me. Oh well. It kind of annoys me because like, I, I don't want to go on Chen Jiao's route, but, but where else could I go? <laughs> the loud sound of firecrackers can be heard from outside, signifying the long-awaited Dragon Festival has finally arrived. Together with the cheers of people from the streets who gather together just for this one day. It's enough to make anyone jump in excitement. 
I've endured it for a week, but it's finally here. I check my purse and get ready for the festival. How much do we got? Oh, we got 60. Great. All right, I'm ready to go. Mother, I'm leaving. Wait a second. She fixes my clothes a little. There you have it. It's a huge event. You mustn't look too shabby. Right. But I'm glad you look so happy. I haven't seen you this happy in a while. All right, I'm going. Be careful and have fun. Yeah. Please be safe. Huh? Who could it be? Qian! Uh, look who's here! Qian? Xiaoyan, Mingji. I'm sorry, but Qian left a few minutes ago. What? Why did she leave without us? I thought you guys planned to meet somewhere. No, Qian didn't say anything. That's odd. Well, yeah, that's unlike her. She does act a little weird lately. I wonder what happened. Uh, don't worry, I'm sure we'll meet her at the festival. Yeah. T-Zip. Chaoyan, Mingji. I'm sorry for going without telling the two of you. I don't really want anyone to see me with Cha Chan Zhao. This might be the last Dragon Festival where I can go with him. Please let me be selfish. For once. I run all the way to the Dragon's Arch. <sighs> where is he? I'm not late, are I? As I look around the crowd anxiously, a pair of hands sneaks in and cover both of my eyes. Guess who? It's cer a certain mischievous golden-haired dragon. Pingo. Chan Zhao, I'm so happy to see you again. Me too. Time goes by so slowly without you around. <laughs> Me too. I'm here, finally. Here with Chan Zhao. I feel so bad for choosing another guy's route. This is genuinely upsetting. <laughs> I'm going against the wishes of my main character. I'm not supposed to do that. <sighs> okay, we're gonna stick to it. Huh. I can't contain my excitement. Oh, did you sneak out again? Don't worry, I've already gotten permission. I behaved for an entire week, so Gramps finally relented and get, let me go. I used to think your grandpa is a really scary person, but he's actually quite reason reasonable. Excuse me. <laughs> Gramps is scary, but he's not unreasonable. He's a great man. I deeply respect him. He can be a little uptight, though. Are you sure it's not because you're a little too mischievous? Really? I guess I am. <laughs> Putting that aside, we're finally here at the festival. What do you want to do? Mm, let's see. Watch the lion dance? Join the guessing lantern riddles contest. Interesting. Where would we find the dude? <laughs> uh, Shu Wei. Lion dance? Let's go watch the lion dance. I missed watching it ten years ago. I hope I can see it this time. Sounds like a plan. Oh, but food. Oh, well. Lion dance. A form of traditional dance in which perform... <laughs> Sorry. I just, I'm just suddenly thinking that maybe if Xu Wei was inside one of those costumes, I'm just thinking of them like wobbling up one half, like him being the butt or something like. <laughs> Sorry, it's just. <laughs> uh, uh, we had a a school play, like one of those really cheesy school plays where we had to play like the we had to like reenact the birth of Jesus Christ in the church um, and we had to like play different roles and stuff and um, c at Christmas and I ended up being the freaking donkey's butt <laughs> like not that many people can genuinely say they have played a donkey's butt not a donkey a donkey's butt <laughs> and this just reminded me of it oh no oh <laughs> Again, I just wanna... I'm just thinking about Shu Wei now, just... Oh hey, you found out my part-time job! Lion butt! <laughs> I'm so mature. <laughs> I turned 19. Hmm, you can feel that, can you? <clears throat> serious. This is a very serious tradition, I'm so sorry for... <laughs> lion dance. A form of traditional dance in which performers mimic a lion's movement within a lion costume. They're often performed during New Year or important 
uh, occasions such as business opening events, special celebrations, or wedding ceremonies. Wow, look at that movement, it's amazing! Don't laugh, Nana. No, no. Yeah, I've watched the lion dance before, but never up this up close. I've never watched one before, this is my first. Ouch! What's wrong? Someone bumped into me. Who are you? Oh, is that him? Hey, you! You should be careful next time. Ow! He scratched my face! Is that a boy? Uh, okay. He runs and disappears into the crowd. Come back here, you rascal! Oh, he even has a scratch on his face. That's cool. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm not okay until I find that kid and teach him a lesson. It's just a kid. All the more reason to discipline him. Come on, help me find him. Uh... Let's search the Dragon's Arch. All right. Hmm, he's not here. Maybe she just give it up. I guess you're right. I don't know why I got so worked up over a kid. <laughs> That's a good boy. So where are we going next? Go elsewhere? I want to try this. Let's go on the stage. I want to test my wits at the Guessing Lantern Riddles contest. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's w win this shit. The Guessing Lant Lantern Riddles contest is one of the most popular events during the festival. The riddles are written on the lanterns, and those who participate must guess uh, the answer from a word, a poem, or a phrase. I've never joined this type of event before, have you? Not this a particular event, but I had participated in similar events before. I have! <laughs> Chian's voice just went everywhere. It's a really fun way to test your wits and win prizes. I see. I wonder what's the prizes tonight. Oh, it's Master Sia! Suddenly the crowd begins to cheer. Dear oh, venerable audience, I, Sia, have the honor of being your host tonight. Tonight's price is quite the treasure. You will not believe your eyes when you see it. It is this elusive holly, the bunny. It can't be. Indeed, it is the incredible rare mascot toy from the land of so soundless wind. Ten years ago, only few were blessed enough to own one. Would you like to join? Only 15 tales to enter. Oh, you bet your sweet ass I want the buddy. All right, let's do this. Getting a little competitive, aren't you? What are you talking about? It's the Holly the Bunny. I must have it. Really? You see, it used to be impossible to find one. I wanted one ever since I was small. Must have been very popular if they made them so if they made them so little. What did you say? Uh, nothing. Uh, in any case, I don't think I can help you with this one. I'm bad at this kind of stuff. It'll be fine. Solving rid riddles is my forte. Wow, really? I'll show you what I'm made of. Well, the participant comes to the stage. Here goes nothing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. I, have, I haven't saved either. <laughs> Alright. Guess a word from the riddle given with the help of the available hints. There's no time limit. Thank God. I don't work well under pressure. Be careful not to make a wrong move or you will get penalized. Round one. Four letters. And the hint, two letters, and chance three times. So we have to like, the word is out of four letters, and then we can get, okay. Riddle, it has no mouth, but it can eat many things. It fears water, but not wind. Fire? It has no mouth, but it can eat many things. It fears water, but not wind. Wind strengthens it. Well, wind can blow it out, but wind, wind strengthens it, water blows it out. It has no mouth, but it eats things by burning them. Fire, right? Yeah! Alright! Four letters and one letter. Oh, no. <clears throat> it has no feet. But it can travel a thousand miles. It has no it has wings, but it cannot fly. Fuck. <laughs> Don't know, and I can't <laughs> Okay, there's an S in it. It's a four word. It's a four-letter word. Um 
Have I told you I'm horrible at riddles? No, I guess I guess I haven't. I am horrible at riddles. I didn't actually think I was gonna have to do it. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> All right, come on, brain. Uh, my brain has. Okay, so it has wings. Something with wings that cannot fly, and no feet that can travel. Could it be like a kite? No, but it cannot fly, so why does that even matter? Wings. The wind. Um, maybe I have to think about this from another angle. Uh, Understand what can have wings. That's the only problem. I'm gonna try fish. I don't know why. But I'm gonna try it. <gasps> A fucking fish! How can a fish have wings? I'm gonna be so angry. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break something. Oh my god. Oh, I wanna, oh no, now there's six letters. Why would you do this? Uh. You laugh, it laughs. You cry, it cries. Whatever you do, it does too. A mirror. Oh, fucking easy one after the other one. How, how, how does a fish have wings? No, it doesn't make sense. I refuse. Wings, my ass. Oh, fuck, I didn't. It follows you wherever you go. It desires neither food nor water, yet it disappears when the sun sets. A shadow! Right? Yeah, because it follows you, and then when the sun set, I guess if you don't count moonlight. Yeah, you bet your sweet ass. God! Okay, round five. Eight letters to one. Mm, this is not good. Okay. Everyone has it at home. It has many numbers. It needs to be replaced every year. Calendar. Now the problem is if I can spell fucking calendar. If this is wrong, I'll cry a little bit. Okay, it's right. Okay. Are there like ten rounds? This is crazy. Eight letters and one letter. For me, I slap you. Because of you, I slap myself. Hitting you, my blood flows. For me, I slap you. For you? A mosquito? For me, I slap you. Because of you, I slap myself. Hitting you, my blood flows. Um... Mus... Ki... Oh. I can't not be it. Ah, good. Oh man, I'm rolling this. Ten letters, and I win. If I win this round, I win it, and there's no- oh god. They are twins. They have the same height. They care to eat the solid food. They do not dare drink the soup. This is so hard. Like, the other ones were easy, but this last one is hard. Ugh. If I lose now, I'm gonna cry a little bit. I would think like twin mountains, but mountains doesn't really make sense. Like, what eats like... I'm trying to think in the way of the like, kind of this mystical way of thinking. I am so fucked. 
M O N mountains. Can I spell mountains? Because I'm gonna try that. Then um, I don't even know how to spell mountains. To be honest, mount. Mountains! <laughs> oh no, I'm just gonna... Oh! <laughs> no, I can't. I have to give a good guess. At least a good ten-letter guess. What is something that there is two of? And something that may not be able to take water? But... Eat something. Oh my god. Is it... <laughs> oh, if I could hug my brain, I would. Oh my god, I don't know how I got that. I don't know how my brain wa went to that, but I, it did, it did, and that was, uh, that was glorious. That was a moment of glorious victory. I adore this Holly the Bunny, even if <laughs> it took about half the fucking video to get there. I did it, I did it. Sobbing in the corner. I won! Impressive. Something. The Yangtze River waves uh, behind <sighs> drive the waves ahead. The energy of the new generation inspires the old. My work here is done. The time has come for me to leave the stage. Thank you very much for holding the contest. Your pleasure is mine. Um, before you go, can I ask something? Yes. Who are you, really? It seems that my question has caught her off guard. Yet, it doesn't take her long to return that familiar, playful smile of hers. That is classified information. Who are these people? Without saying further, she leaves. Upon her departure, the crowd's whisper can be heard around her. She must have come from the land of the soundless wind. What a mysterious person she is. Oh, I lost all the voices in my attempt to solve riddles as my brain has turned to mush. Literally, I think I'm gonna have to end the episode not too long because my brain is so dead. <laughs> Indeed. Well, at least you got the bunny. Yes. So this is Holly the bunny. He stares at it intensively. He stares intensively at the bunny in my arms. What a strange looking bunny. It feels like it's staring into my soul. It's spectacular, isn't it? I guess. Why do I have the feeling that the host just wanted to get rid of her old goods? What did you say? No, it's nothing. Ugh. <laughs> so where are we going to go next? Do you want to eat? Nah. Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess we'll go eat. Let's visit the food market. I heard that they sell what they sell here is delicious. Sounds like a plan. I've got money for it, so... The food market was one of the biggest attractions of the festival. Many households household made dishes specifically for this one in the decade event. Ugh. Wow, look at the crowd. I wonder what kind of food they sell here. There's an empty seat over there. Let's get it before someone else takes- Yuck! Huh? I turn my head and see a couple of scary looking men behind me. I'm gonna have to move, cause I'm literally dying. Well, my brain is. <laughs> what kind of food is this? It's terrible. How dare you serve this kind of food to your customers? Right, we demand compensation. Is there trouble? A murmur can be heard behind them. Jinsei, it's Jinsei. Who, who's this scrawny little girl? That's, that's Jinsei, you idiot. Wait a second, isn't Jinsei the one who's in charge of this market? This scrawny girl is? Listen up, little girl, the food here is terrible. Yeah, it tastes like poop. No, worse than poop. Poop? You know what poop tastes like? What? Laughter can be heard from the crowds. How dare you? 
She ignores the angry man and picks up the pieces of the leftovers with her chopsticks and gobble it down. Flavor, okay. Softness, okay. Everything's perfect. She drifts into her own little world before reverting back to her own usual expression. There's no problem, so. Guys, this midget is looking down at us. Right, we need to teach her a lesson. It's time to show her who she's messing with. <sighs> It happened in less than a second. It was so fast that I couldn't fully grasp what had just happened. Before I knew it, the three of them had flown three meters away into the sky. Done. It takes the crowds a few seconds to process the situation. When they finally do, they shower her with applause and cheers. Wow, she's amazing. She is. You there. Huh? I just cleared the seat for you. Please. Thank you very much. May I, may I have your order? Let's see. Um, what do we have here? Song C. There's sticky rice. Dumpling. Fifty tails are free. Shit, I'm... Very popular. Everyone loves them. You know what, let's get them. Can I have some Song C? Got it. Here you go. Thank you. Wow, slow down. This is really good. Really? I think it's okay. You're kidding, right? Nothing is tastier than Songsi. Well, it's really popular here. I guess I'm in the minority. My voice just disappeared for her. I don't even think I can finish mine. Give it to me. I'll finish it for you. <laughs> sure. I watched Qian, Qian Zhao finish his in less than a minute. He really likes them, doesn't he? Alright, let's leave. Let's leave. This is good. Leaving already? Yes, thank you very much. Come again soon. Oh, Jinsei, is it? Yes? You're an amazing one, aren't you? You barely touched those guys, and yet you could send them flying. Impressive. You think you noticed? You also reek of trouble, how about it? Oh, aren't you a wild one? Don't, you don't even attempt to hide your fighting spirit. Interesting. I haven't had a good fight in a long time. I gave Qian Zhao a light chop. Will you knock it off? We're not here to cause trouble, are you? Uh, but... Your grandfather? I got it, I'm sorry. Today's the day where we'll have fun. I'll leave the fighting for next time. Disappointing. She turns around. You're strong. Don't lose your way. She's a really interesting one. Yeah. Alright, we've been everywhere now. Let's go watch them fluffing fireworks. Oh, shit. Hey, Qian Zhao. Do you want to watch the fireworks? Do you want to watch the fireworks? I, I don't know why I, her voice is just gone. It's it's gone. I'm Chien. Nope, it's gone. Of course. That's what I look forward to the most. I missed watching it ten, ten years ago. I gotta see it this time. <laughs> Alright, let's go then. He returns my smile and then proceeds to grab my hand. The two of us walk until we reach the end of the bridge. Wow, look at that. That's incredible. So that's what fireworks look like. You've never seen them before? I fell off the bridge before I got a chance to see them ten years ago. Oh, that's unfortunate. No, it's the opposite. I was really fortunate. I ended up seeing something more beautiful because of it. Something more beautiful? What could be more beautiful than fireworks? I smile at him. I'm sure the fireworks are beautiful. They are colorful, aren't they? That's what everyone says. But to me, they look like just a bunch of rice fields. Rice fields? How could you mistake those as rice fields? I was born with a strange disorder. In my world, there is no such thing as color. I can only see in black and white. Chan Zhao, you're the only color I can see in this world. I don't know what color that is, but for some reason I feel it must have been golden, like a light that shines upon me. I finally understand the reason why she's, she's so attract, attached to you. It's the light. She's attached to your light. I see. That's what sis meant. Huh? Hey, Chien. If I wasn't a dragon... Nor if I had golden lights. Will you be as attracted to me as you are now? 
I don't know what prompted me to tell him about my eyesight. It's so strange that I could reveal my secret so easily, not just once but twice. Yet it was his response that surprised me more than anything. That's right. I was chasing after that light for so many years, for it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. But Qian Jiao, what I found beyond that light is you. The time we spent together is brief, but they're special. Because of you, I felt so many things I've never experienced before in my life. Anticipation, excitement, independence. I've never been so happy in my life. I think we've gotten on the wrong route, and you know what, fuck it. If you're happy, Qian, it's okay, we... I'll just... I'll try... It's okay. How about you? Are you the same as me? I'm not the first human girl you've met. Will you be as attractive to me as you are now? <laughs> he begins to laugh. Indeed. It's pointless to ask such questions. What happened has already happened. Nothing can tell change my feelings for you. Chen Jiao. The sound of fireworks echoes above us. The voices of hundreds of people shroud us. Yet in that moment, I can only see you. Qian! Huh? A familiar voice snaps me out of my world. I turn my head to see where the source of that voice is. Chiao Yan! Qian! What are you- Ming Ji. Huh? Ain't that the one from the inn? She's your friend, right? What's wrong? Before we could say another word, a group of children bump into us. Oh no! My hood! The impact causes his hood to slip away, unveiling his bright golden hair that shines even at the light of time. At the night time, in that instance, all eyes are on us. Golden hair? A dragon? No way! Chian, don't tell me! You already knew this! This ain't good. Make way! All of a sudden, the crowd begins to move aside, revealing two more familiar figures in front of us. Huh? These two, why are they- Well, 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 what do we have here? Before I can make heads or tails of the situation, another figure closes in. Lord Shu! We meet again. It has been a while. No way. You are- The Dragon Priest? Huh. Ah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. I feel like it wouldn't end in that way if it wasn't for the fact that the Dragon Priest was an actual, like, part of the story. So maybe I did do it right. I'm not sure. And if I did, I feel kind of bad because Qian likes Qian Jiao so much. <clears throat> I done goofed up. But anyway, this was uh, the episode. I hope you enjoyed this um, part. I made it longer. Though... I'm pretty sure it'll be cut down because a lot of the time it's just me thinking over fucking riddles. Fucking riddles. <laughs> anyway, I had fun. I hope guys, you guys had fun too. And I will see you in the next video or whatever I make.